Alright everybody, my name's Noah and um, welcome to, back to actually, to one hospital, it's been quite some time. I am not three ho um, three star in this hospital on a video because it'll take far too long. Because I really just can't do anything other than wait. So instead we're going to, instead we're going to be going to uh, Milton University. Because getting three stars in that hospital will take at least an hour, maybe two. Alright, so now we need our reception desk, as always, a reception pod, and a mini filing cabinet, and a... what's a recycling bin? Oh, that's... oh, I get it. This is from the DLC, yeah. This is from the, um, Green Energy DLC. And it is cheaper, so you know what? Might as well use it. Actually, you know what? No, I'll save that for the DLC. Okay, now we need the GP's office right here, is what I'm thinking. Now, let's make it look nice. I don't want it to be like one of our hospitals previously and look absolutely awful. I'm gonna instead make it look decent. I'm gonna put a medicine cabinet in here too. Actually, I actually don't have a template for this. I gotta have a template, right? Stop editing the room. Uh, room templates. Here we go. This is our five star. Um, it will cost me fourteen thousand. I'm pretty fine with that because that's the um, basically one of the best we can get for um, what's it called? I don't know what I'm talking about, but that's like the um, max efficiency room. Okay, I'm gonna pause the game because we have our first um actual hospital patient and um, I need to build rooms it's been a while since I played this game and I really like this game it's just that all oh, hospital man I just didn't want to go back to it so I put it off for a few months but then I decided you know what I gotta come back I might have a template for this one too and if I don't I'll make one right now I don't I don't make a new template. I think can I remember General Diagnostics. I think I just clicked this and now it's becoming a template. Go right here. Easy scan. Examination table. Finally cabinet. Medicine cabinet. And a big bin. Gonna need some bins as well. I'm saying four all the way down here. Then we also need to, um, copy this item. Man, that's a part I really like about Two Point Campus. They like you to copy items. So you don't have to go all the way into the, uh, menu. Then now we need, uh, a bench. Two benches for each of these. Then a bench for waiting for a reception. A drinks machine and a snacks machine back to back. Then finally, a uh, we've already got a bin there. I'm gonna put a bin right in between two um, benches. I think that might look nice. We're not going exactly for looking nice. We're going for um, working pretty well. But um, in case you've ever watched me play this game, um, I'm not too good at it. An arcade machine for. Um, Entertainment, a leaf that stand for entertainment, and a magazine rack for entertainment. And then a plant in this room so they don't get bored. And then finally we need a staff room and a toilet. I was going to go for a 3x3 three three staff room with a couch. Um, I have, see, a big bin, yes. Hand sanitizer both in and outside the room. Really, that's awful too close. That's just ever so slightly too close, man. Come on. A large radiator to keep the entire thing warm. A coffee maker, because we are in cold climate in this game currently. Uh, one gold star award right here. Don't we have any of the food items unlocked yet? I don't think so. 
Although, we can get carrots. Reduces hunger and self-sustaining. Yeah, these are part of the DLC items. That's why they cost nothing. And rainwater. That's why it says renewable, self-sustaining. And then this, I think, is also... Yeah, the, the rest of this stuff is part of the DLC, and, um... Yeah, this is all the DLC stuff. I think. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, a lot of this stuff, DLC items. Which I think is really cool. Because I bought every single DLC. And whatnot. Not any of the, like, item DLCs, just all the DLCs that give you, like, uh, expanded content. Which we will be doing, I'm not sure if we're gonna do it as soon as we get it. Because, um, I don't know if I'll be 100%ing this game, alright? I might not be able to finish it, alright? It's just a really difficult game. Two Point Campus, I know I can 100%. But this game, man, requires so much skill of knowing what to buy and luck of hoping that your doctors succeed, that it's pretty difficult. Okay, now we gotta hire our doctor, nurse, assistant, and janitor. So for assistant, I'll just go for this guy. High energy. I mean, he'll work for longer. Yeah, tireless. Works longer before needing a break. I like it. You're hired. Then, um, this person, because they move faster, they can repair things, and they do maintenance. And then a nurse, doesn't matter. Probably should look at the abilities, but, you know. 50% more teaching speed. Cheap. I love it when doctors are cheap in this game. Lazy fast learner. Actually, I wish I didn't do that. Can I just fire you? Sorry. I just wasted money. Um, fast learner. No. Nah, none of these guys are good. I'll just wait one more day. This guy, really good. Sorry, not- yeah, this guy. Wait, did I fire the doctor? He's unhappy, but he's energized. He's positive, but he's cheap. Probably because that person just got fired. I'm guessing he doesn't like him when someone gets fired. Okay, nurses. Okay, so you're the new one. Inspires other people. Good enough for me. Alright, now we should get our first person and see what they want, and we, have to, we do have to upgrade this for the first, um, research license. And researching's a big part in this one. When I say big part, I mean a really big part. I will put it, I will put it on fast-forward mode, and we're going for a decently long video, you know? I'm saying 20-25 minutes long. I do do, I'm um, thinking two other videos for today. I'm thinking... That not only do I do Two Point Hospital, but I'm also going to be doing Civilization and maybe Balloons Adventure Time if I have the time. Because I really want to get that um, civ Civilization done and then not have to come back to it for right now. And do um, finish my Evil Genius 2 series, then maybe come back to it. Okay, Bog Wards, meaning we need the pharmacy. Get patient to wait. Now we're going to need another nurse. Hopefully this one will have some abilities. So right now I'll just build that. Nurse. Green fingers, fast learner. Okay, this is actually pretty good. Walk 20% faster than normal, inspires other people, and makes people happy who are interacting with them. That is... Why am I getting such good roles for these people? Okay, yeah, we got a research license. Good. Meaning we're gonna need some doctors to research. Oh yeah, and I also do. I have not. There's one DLC for Two Point Campus I have not played yet. It is the um Two Point uh, Campus Hospital DLC where we get to train patients. Uh, sorry, not patients. We get to train doctors. Which means the first time I play, I play it will be the first time um. I play it. I am playing, playing on playing Two Point Campus after I finish Two Point Hospital. Which is why I wanted to hurry up and do this, because you know, the new DLC came out, so I plan for it to come around, out around today. This is not pre-recorded, by the way. I am recording this all live. 
It's not like I record this, then talk afterwards. I'm doing this both at the same time. Some basic for treatments. You need to be trained. Okay, I'm gonna buy this over here. It's probably a bad idea. But I kind of want it. Okay, yeah. Because we need to train staff and we need some researchers. Because we just unlocked a research room. So for right now, do I have a template for the research room? I do, but it's far too expensive for me. For right now. It's just a, a tad bit too much money for me to spend. So for right now, I'll just do this and a few of these. Just two seats. Then for our um, trainee, I'm going to put in our um, student doctor. Who I want to get uh, general practicing from Dr. E. Hugs. And we will die. We will hire a temporary doctor in his play in his place. Boring and positive class clown. I love it when I get class clown doctors, especially for the GP's office, because they always have to talk to patients. Meaning, if the patient becomes happy by talking to this person, becomes entertained, their happiness will reign. Yeah, look at that. Happiness has increased a lot more than it would have been. And we are carrying a lot of patients. I don't want that to happen. I will build a psychiatry room for the mock stars who all think that they're Freddie Mercury. Pack a bag, grab a fork, and don't forget your eating shoes because you're coming on a eating shoes. With Chef Ricky. Yes, it's me. Ricky I don't Ricky. have shoes for eating. Today, I'll be taking this guy's crazy. Buds all over two because this person wants to be trained as well. About some of my most favorite combustible experiences. Let's see, you fast learner. I like that for what I'm doing to be doing. Lazy. Let's just say no to you. Uh, no. Okay, so you're gonna be our psychiatrist. As soon as this person's done, we're gonna train you for psychiatry. Let's just real quickly go to, um, staff. Let's pause the game real quick. Uh, doctors. Okay, so, who was it again? What's your name? You're our psychiatrist. So currently you're not allowed to do anything. Uh, you're our temporary doctor who does everything. You're our GP doctor. So yeah, I have like a doctor for everything in case one of my most important doctors is on a break or even both of them at once. Because sometimes I'll try to have one extra doctor, you know. I do need another nurse, I think. Inspiring, high energy but a litterer. I, I can't deal with littering. It's too much. Nasty, no. I'm saying we hire the inspiring nurse as our backup nurse. And then for our assistants. Unmotivated, boring, and tired. List. I'm uh, afraid no. Can never hire you. Positive. That's good. Terribly dull, argumentative, and unmotivated. You have to be the worst assistant I've ever seen. And we have no one, absolutely no one, who can hunt ghosts. Likes to argue, just like me, but I'm afraid I cannot hire you because, uh, your argue with the staff is just not too good for me. Okay, so, um... Okay, where is that doctor who I said can't do anything? Actually, wait. Do we have a janitor who wants to train up? Come on, really no janitor? Can our janitor train up, please? Can you train to be a ghost capturer? Actually, no. I'm reconsidering. Psychology... It was... Who again? Let me check my staff list. Who's not allowed to do anything? It's you, right? Yeah. You train psychology now. Until then, this is going to be closed. Um, closed. There we go. Then for these patients who we don't know what they can be treated by, we'll just hope that they're done before then. How many days till you um, succeed? I don't know, because it's not telling me. 24 days. Okay, we have that time. They're going to stay here for at least 100. Hot chocolate maker. That's also part of the DLC. Now, I'm not sure what's part of what DLC. I just... I'll just use them all, man. 
Okay, ward. I'm gonna send you home because I don't want to build a ward right now because it increases how many patients are gonna come. The Flemington area is renowned for its traditional oyster stews. Unfortunately, the guide I was using was maybe a little too traditional, as the restaurant I had planned to visit moved 35 years ago. Actually, <laughs> the petrol station now at that site sold a really memorable version of that fishiest of concoctions. It just goes to show, you don't have to be picky when it comes to seafood. It's all good. No, I, I don't. I don't eat seafood. It just seems a little gross, you know? But, um, I guess, yeah, that guy that I don't remember who his name is was using, definitely way too old-fashioned, man. Way too much in the past to, um, actually figure out that the restaurant's no longer there. Uh, send patient to treatment. We can't take the Mockstar emergency. Tell me, what's the cue here? One? Alright, I'll take the Mockstar emergency. Let's see, what is our information? So you have a... If I just send you for treatment... Wait, wrong thing. I'm stupid. Oh wait, it doesn't matter because we had to build a ward and I don't want to do that because it needs too many people to come. Um, does our junior janitor... No, senior janitor... Wait. Uh, student doctor to junior doctor... Wait, we're hiring, we're hiring student doctors and student nurses. Doesn't exactly seem like the best idea, but it definitely ain't the worst. I mean, I think I can pay them less. Probably won't care. Alright, yeah, so we got seven people waiting. Items. Let's put in a few more medicine cabinets. That way we don't fail anyone. Or at least a few too many people, because the more people we fail, the worse it is for our reputation, money, and things like that. So hopefully we succeed at least five of them. Because, um, no, four. I think four is half. Let's see. I'm not entirely sure how this works, because sometimes I get half of it, and it says, yeah, you did okay, you succeeded. But sometimes when I get half of it, it says, no, you failed. So I'm just hoping we can cure at least five, leaving two people uncured or failed or dead, whatever. Uh, we need to upgrade the drug mixer. For medicine. Okay, yeah, staff promotion. Let's look at all our staff's money amounts that they want. All, everybody's satisfied. All this increased pay per percent by one. Um, and then we need our research lab down. This thing's gonna be quite big, so I wanna build it in a good spot. I'm saying here, we do have to place the door, the research desk, the research pod. It's all quite expensive. Like, far too expensive. Now we need a good doctor. Charming. Not too useful for, um, that. Cheap, charming, and romantic. Short-tempered and romantic. You know. You, since you're cheap, I'll hire you. Then I'd like you to become a researcher. There we go. Inspection. I think we're doing pretty decent. Our reputation's decent. It's halfway there. We're level 5. And let, actually, let me look at the prices. Um, salty snack, snack machine will be 90% off. And drink machine will be 100. No. Drink machine will be 50% more. And just so people think that they're getting a good deal, I'm going to make this 60% less. And then I'll put these items out. That's too cheesy flavor. Who needs new ideas when you can have more cheese? More cheese. Cheesy Gubbins presents. Yes. That's too cheesy. More cheese. I like cheese. I had cheese in my food this morning. Dare you? It was a bagel with cheese and uh, pepperoni on it. Okay, now we need to get a uh, chromotherapy to cure gray anatomy, which um, I don't know how it happens, but people lose all the color of their skin and of their clothes that they wear. So I don't know, maybe they went through the washing machine. Doesn't seem too good though. Even their hair turns gray. I don't know about you, but I don't think I would like if my. Her turn great case. We cured 
four out of seven patients and we succeeded. We didn't get it perfect, but we succeeded and that's all that matters. Oh, we need to increase our hospital's attractiveness. So to make it look nicer, we're gonna put plants everywhere. Makes sense to me. Anything that don't, gold Star Wars, you don't have to, no maintenance on them and they increase attractiveness slightly. If I remember correctly. Yeah, they do. Just not enough. I remember in some of my old hospitals where like the goal was to get a certain amount of attractiveness. I had a, two janitors just for watering plants. Plants were still dying, man. Even with two gardeners. Okay, yeah, now we did that. We are going to, um, put some gold star awards in here until we get to prestige level 5. Or at least until we get to $20,000. Okay, it's only like a few more. There we go. There's a few items I can think I can buy here to speed up the research. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is the DLC um, items from the DLCs. And honestly, there's just too many items in this game. Alright, yeah, I like having this many items, but it's just a few too many, man. For instance, most of these items are uh, DLCs that I just scrolled past. So how long till he's done with research? Okay, let's look at the people who can hire and fire. Oh, end of year. And we're 20 minutes in, meaning the video is going to end in 4 minutes. But I don't think I can allow the video to end until we get, um... Until we get, a uh, 1 star, but I guess it could be in the next video. Anyways, make sure to like and subscribe. You know, I haven't done one of these in quite some time. It's, uh... It's, it's nice, you know? It's, it's it's easy. I was stuttering there for a bit, and I accidentally left the hospital. Oh, no. Okay, everything's fine. Oh, yeah, for the people. Um, Evil, entertainer, fast learner. Afraid not. Short-tempered and hygienic. No. Inspiring and motiva motivated. I'll, I'll think about it. Green fingers. Nah, I don't need that. Charming. I believe the snack is called Cheesy Goblins. It's called Cheesy Gubbins, not Goblins. Hygienic. I don't really need that. It's not that useful. Expensive. And a teacher. Afraid not. I have too many teachers in a two point campus. So you're you fired. Stupid. You're stupid. No. Argumentative. No. Tires easily. You're lazy. No. Hygienic and vengeful, apparently. No. Gets angry really fast. Motivated and tireless. I'll actually hire you. Other than the fact that you have one bad um, item on this list of uh, training faster and teaching faster. He's really good for uh, just doing everything. This is but, um, Dongle with today's tech report. A hospital has just invented a chromotherapy room, giving hope to those afflicted with grey anatomy. Remember, when it comes to medical treatments, it's not all black and white. All right, well, that is the end of today's video. So I really hope you did enjoy, and until next time, goodbye.